is up guys welcome back to the channel uh let me first say thank you for uh subscribing if you haven't subscribed click that subscribe button make sure you hit the little bell thing so you get notifications um five videos a week so i promise you you always have some cool stuff to see and if it sucks just you know leave me a message down there and tell me it sucks unlike a lot of the mega channels i will reply to every message and uh thank you for your feedback uh Okay, so what's the what right now going on with the channel? Uh, the first thing is the new motor has been picked up, the replacement motor. If you haven't seen the video, go back and watch the video where you know we picked up the motor and then there's another video where we found out there was an issue. So go back and watch those if you haven't watched them. Uh, the next uh, order of business is I did get some new equipment. If, if you wanna see a video about the equipment I use, uh, shoot me a message in the comments below or send me an email, whatever emails in the description. And I'd be happy to do that. I've got some people that have asked about the equipment that I use, but I'm, you know, if if, if you want to see that kind of stuff, leave me a comment. I'd be happy to do it. If Next you want to a business, is I have to admit that uh, I screwed up, and I'll explain the way I screwed up. Basically, when you build a car, you know, when you're younger, it's you know, you can back up a little bit. When you're younger, you all you want to do is go fast, and nothing else matters. Well, obviously, that's not entirely the best way to build a car. The best way is to handle all of the car's weaknesses first. What I mean by weaknesses is, you know, when we're talking like a Fox body, which obviously the car that I'm building and have built before, in the past is a Fox body, uh, Fox bodies have several weaknesses. And um, the most glaring ones are the chassis has ridiculous amount of flex and the brakes are absolutely freaking terrible. When I say terrible, I mean drums in the back and like 10 inch, 10 inch brakes in the front. That's how bad. So, you know, knowing this, knowing all of this information that you're supposed to handle all the car's deficiencies first, which, you know, power is a deficiency um, from the, you know, from a bone stock perspective. But the problem is nobody wants to do it that way. Everybody wants to go fast. So, you know, as I've gotten a little older, a little wiser about building cars, I knew that there's a certain way that you're supposed to, you know, do this. And unfortunately, I have to admit, hand in the air, that I broke that rule. All right, so let me show you what I'm talking about here on my car. These are 17 inch wheels, and as you can see, tiny little brakes back there. And as you go to the back, drums out back. So when I'm talking about massive amounts of deficiency, that's what I'm talking about. The car has really crappy stopping power now i have done a few things like add hawk brake pads and braided lines stuff like that but in the grand scheme of things in the grand scheme of things that really doesn't do a whole lot i still have tiny tiny little brakes so i broke the rule why because i'm adding another 120 horsepower on top of the extra 120 horsepower 120 some horsepower that i've already added and so the car's going you know stock it probably made I don't know, maybe 190 to the wheels. Yeah, I know, that's kind of sad. About 190 to the wheels. And once the Coyote is in and tuned and all that, we're going to be doing like 420 at the wheels. And I still have stock brakes. So, yes, I'm guilty. Um, I want to go fast, I admit it. And um, so what am I going to do to fix it? Well, that's another issue. So what's going to make this build even more expensive and even more complicated? Now, I'm not going to do it at the same time just because of, of budget constraints and stuff like that, um, but it is coming, is I'm going to have to upgrade not only the brakes, but because I'm going five lug, I also have to do wheels and tires. So as you can see how this is going to spiral out of control really fast, and eventually I'm going to have like $50,000 in this car. Okay, maybe not that much, but it is scary when you talk about that. This is another rule, and I'm going to, this is kind of like my sidebar for today. Don't ever, absolutely ever, and trust me when I say this, don't ever think about how much money you actually have in your car, because you'll probably want to kill yourself or drive the car off the cliff. And for God's sake, don't ever tell your significant other. Whether you're a man or a woman, don't tell the other one, especially if they're not into cars, because you'll probably end up single really quick. But... That is going to be next on the list. Um, so my plan for today was I was going to get the Fox out, put a few miles on it, have a little fun, shoot some video, stuff like that. But as you can probably see on the windows, it's raining today. It's another nasty day. It was nice all weekend when I wasn't able to do any shooting. And now when I'm doing some shooting, it's raining. So get 
getting the beater out, you know, the beater life. If you haven't seen the beater lifestyle video, you got to check out the beater life video. So instead, the beater is out. I'm making my Monday monster run because I'm an idiot and I forgot to buy my monster uh, over the weekend. And All right, guys. So the monster is complete. Got to have that monster, though. And now got to get to work. So I've got a lot of stuff I got to get done, obviously. And I definitely could use some help. So if you have any ideas on, you know, brakes, wheels, stuff like that for the car, excuse me, I would definitely appreciate the input. I'm actually kind of like in my mind, I've got a, uh, a matte black CCW classic in my head just because they look freaking phenomenal on a Fox body and never had CCWs before. But anyway, um, if you like the videos, if there's something you want to see, shoot me a message, shoot me a, a comment below. Like I said, I reply to every message and um, I'm trying to make this as good as I can. And uh, again, five days a week, I'm going to have a video for you. Um, maybe six or seven, just depends. But we're going to go out and check out the new engine this week and see what's up with it. I'll have all the details on that when we get out there and actually get to check it out and look it over and start uh, taking it apart. I'm also going to cover like the differences between um, the Mustang engine and the F-150 truck engine, which there's very few, but I'm going to go over all of them just so, you know, help you out if this is something that you're planning on doing. But um, big things in store, I promise. In the meantime, if you're not following me on uh, Instagram, stop by the Instagram page and say what's up. Uh, Facebook, uh, it's facebook.com, the Foxcast, down there in the down there in the corner, and uh, Twitter as well, and the website, um, pretty much everywhere. So stay in touch, hit that subscribe button, and uh, I'll be back with you tomorrow. Later.